Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm the founder and the director of the McDougall program. I've spent almost 40 years doing this. One of the most challenging problems we have today is diabetes. There are two kinds of diabetes. There's type 1, which has been considered childhood diabetes because that's the one that commonly was associated with the little kids. And then there's type 2, which is uh, considered adult type diabetes. That's the one that's really getting out of control. In fact, so out of control that children have now more type 2 diabetes than type 1 diabetes. Let's just talk about type 2 diabetes for a minute. Type 2 diabetes is so closely associated with obesity that uh, basically you cannot have type 2 diabetes without being overweight. And it's a normal adjustment of the body when we overeat all this rich food to become diabetic. I know you think this is a disease. No, your body hasn't failed you. It's just making an adjustment. Here's the situation. We're taking in all this food, all this fat, all this sugar, all these calories. Body says, great, I'll store a few pounds. So it puts on 30, 40 pounds of extra fat. That's good. You're getting ready for the famine that unfortunately or fortunately never comes. But it gets to the point where the body says, hey, that's enough. You put on 30 or 40 pounds. I need to stop gaining weight. And so what happens is a normal adaptation. And that is the body becomes insulin resistant. It resists the effects of the hormone insulin. Insulin is a powerful hormone that drives sugar into your normal cells and drives fat into your fat cells. Well, the body says, hey, you've driven enough fat into the fat cells. We've got to stop doing this. You're going to become 50, 100, 200, 500 pounds overweight. We can't allow that. That's a survival issue. You won't be able to get through the door or climb up the tree to get away from the tiger. So the body becomes insulin resistant. And as a result, the fat doesn't go into the fat cells easily. And as a result, the sugar doesn't go into the regular cells. And as a result, the blood sugar goes up, and then you're told you're a type 2 diabetic. Yeah, you're still making lots of insulin. Often you're making twice as much insulin as somebody without diabetes. It's just you now have insulin resistance, which is appropriate. Your body's trying to make adjustments to all those extra calories, all that extra fat, all that extra sugar. You can fix this really easily. You just stop that kind of eating, all that rich food. And instead, you switch it for common foods, comfort foods, foods people love, like rice and corn and potatoes and sweet potatoes and uh, some green and yellow vegetables. A little exercise would help, too. The consequence is insulin resistance goes away. The blood sugars come down. If you're on insulin or pills for type 2 diabetes, quickly your needs are reduced and you need to get off those medications or at least decrease them dramatically. As a matter of fact, I commonly take people off 60, 80, 120 units of insulin the first day I switch their diet and stop all their diabetic pills. Now, of course, you don't have the luxury of me doing this for you, so the first step you're going to do when you decide to get rid of your type 2 diabetes is you're going to make an appointment with your doctor. You're going to tell your doctor things are going to change quickly. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start taking good care of yourself. And that means better eating, little exercise, and a great reduction in those medications. This is a curable problem. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening. Thank you.